Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to add one of the missing features of the EV900 goggles which is of course the DVR. Somehow Ishin decided not to include a DVR option with these goggles and today I'm going to show you how to simply add one without having the need to disassemble the goggles. In addition, in the end of this video, I'm going to include a DVR footage that is going to compare the DVRs that is going to be recorded with the Ishin EV800D and the EV900 goggles, and I'm also going to perform a latency test. In order to do this mode, you will need to get only one item, which is the Ishin EV100 DVR. But the moment I got these goggles, I thought it's going to be very simple. All I will need to use is just this cable, which comes with the DVR unit, and then I'm going to be good to go. But unfortunately, it's not the case, and you will need to modify this cable in order to make this work. So if you already tried this solution and it didn't work for you, just bear with me. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a working DVR unit. So what you will need to do is to cut this wire in the middle. Actually, you're getting two of these cables in this kit, so I recommend to use the shorter cable. After exposing the wires on both sides, you're going to need to connect the yellow wire to the black wire and vice versa. I'm not going to connect the white and red wires. Maybe you can get audio out and record it on the DVR as well, but I'm not going to do it in this modification. I'm not sure if it's possible. And in my opinion, getting audio out for the goggles, at least for my usage, is not that important. So I'm just going to cut the white and red wires on both sides. And now I'm going to connect the black to the yellow and the yellow to the black. Originally, of course, both were connected to each other, but again, it's just not going to work with these goggles because the wiring is different. Now I'm done, I also put some heat shrink on top in order to isolate the wires. And now we need to check that if it's actually working. So first turn on the goggles, switch to AV mode. You can see that now it's on AV mode. Connect one end to the goggles. Put the DVR unit on output mode, which means the switch is going to be on zero or out. Power on the DVR unit. You can either use a 2S battery or you can use the micro USB port. Now it's on, let's connect it. And you can see that we're getting the picture using the other cable. Let me show you what happened. So just to show you that you need to cross these wires in order to get it to work. You can see that we didn't get any picture. So now with your new cable, it's going to work. In order to record the video, you will have to switch to input mode, switch the mode to diversity. And if you want to record the video, of course, after placing a micro SD card, just hit this button and you can see that this LED indicator is flashing, which indicates the DVR unit is recording the video. And in order to stop it, just press the same button again. I'm not going to go through all the configuration of this DVR unit. I had it on another video. So I'm going to put a link over here and you can go through the setup if you want to see how the DVR unit works. So the last step is to mount the DVR unit. I think the easiest way is to use 3M Duolog. So put one on the DVR unit, one on the battery and two on the sides of the goggles. Just be careful not to block the ventilation holes. Then place the DVR unit on the side like that with the 2S balance collector facing the top. Connect the EV in, then place the battery like that, and then you can just power it up using the balance connector. So this was actually supposed to be part two of reviewing the goggles, but unfortunately I'm having some issues with mine and all I see is just black screen. It happened out of the sudden and hopefully Ishin or Banggood are going to help me out. And if I will have a solution, I will post it in the description box down below. Luckily enough, I was able to take both goggles outdoors and compare their DVR side by side. And I also performed a latency test in order to see what is the difference between the EV900 and the EV800D. And as I discovered, there is an issue and the average latency difference was about 100 milliseconds, which is a huge difference. So what I can tell you about these goggles after trying them out, that they suffer from a couple of major issues. First of all, the latency issue, which I just mentioned. And in addition, they are just not comfortable enough. And this nose piece needs to be adjusted. I think that adding some cushioning on top might solve the problem. Of course, it depends on the shape of your face as well. The second issue that I had is that the screen is just too big, even though its quality is really good. And when I use the HDMI input, the screen was really really clear it was just too big and it caused lots of eye strain and you wouldn't be able to use these goggles for a long time what i recommend that if you have these goggles is to stick to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and then it's going to be more comfortable 
because the screen is going to be smaller. But if you're going to fly it with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's going to be really hard. So what I recommend for issuing is for this type of goggles is to reduce the screen size or maybe add an option to zoom in or zoom out in order to make the screen smaller. Finally, even though that I just showed you how to add a DVR, I think for that price point and for this type of goggles, it's recommended to add a built-in DVR. I don't think it's going to be very pricey and I think that people will be willing to pay an extra 10 or 15 bucks for a built-in DVR option. So again, these goggles have a lot of potential. Unfortunately, it's not fulfilled and hopefully Ishin are going to release a better version, maybe the EV900D in the future. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you the footage that compares the DVR side by side and also the latency test. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions about these goggles feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.